Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Angelic of the New Earth. Today is day 14 of our 33 days discourse of the I Am Presence. 117 coming in, it is 2 the 222 portal gateway, the 2222 or the 44 into the 8. If you've been following us for the last 13 days, you should have noticed and experienced great changes in your life and transformations and powerful manifestations. So let us know in the comments what you've experienced so far as long as you're doing the daily practice, the daily arts of living from the I Am Presence and practicing the mantras. And remember, every morning upon awakening, step firmly onto the ground and state, I am the presence filling my world with perfection this day. And I am perfection. I qualify this mind and body with absolute perfection and refuse acceptance of anything else. So we live in the perfection of the I am presence with the courage power and majesty of God in action through our I am presence here now and remember all that we command through our I am presence is offered unto thee without question and live in the joyful knowing that we are manifesting heaven on earth today we begin discourse 14 of 33 November 17 1932, Faith, Hope, Charity, St. Germain Invocation, I am the joy, the courage, the confidence, pervading all the earth, filling the hearts of mankind, consuming all generated thought of depression or lack in the minds of mankind, and that which has been set forth through lack of confidence shall be wiped from the earth. I am the Presence the perfect Christ activity in the minds of all humanity, filling all official places, causing it to sustain all personalities, causing them to turn with quick certainty to the source of their being, the perfect life manifest in all outer expression. I am the presence proclaiming the conscious active divinity and manifestation everywhere. This shall be, for I am the supreme conquering presence, I am here and I am there. I go everywhere, touching the brains of mankind as with a streak of lightning, not with consuming power, but with the I am presence that will no longer be gainsaid. I bring you greetings, joy, and love from the great host. It is so wonderful, beloved ones, to have such perfect peace and calmness in your minds this morning. Oh, could you understand the value of maintaining that peace of mind? There is nothing that warrants it being disturbed. Your melodies were beautiful, and wonderful words shall come forth to bless through the melodies. There is that great joy and advancing, conquering presence that will bless your home, world, and students with its glorifying presence, with its presence of opulence streaming forth like a mighty river to all who make themselves worthy by the peace and harmony of mind. We begin the discourse. I wish to call your attention this morning to the active presence of faith, hope, and charity. In this consideration, we will think of faith as the conquering, emanating power, hope the open doorway through the veil, acting in the pure presence, charity as the determination to think no evil, speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil, feel no evil. Students should always watch the inner activity of the outer mind, and not let themselves be fooled by its action. This may sound like a paradox, but it is not. This is more important than it seems at first. If there is lurking back in the consciousness any feeling of resistance of any kind whatsoever, or that something which is always ready to bristle when something displeases, pluck it out by the roots. You know it is of the outer, and it will stand in the way of your attainment to prevent it until you do pluck it out. To maintain a tranquil, sweet disposition in the face of all things is the certain road to self-control and absolute mastery. This is much more important than any of you can possibly understand at this time, for your attainment of all that you desire, 
There are cosmic masters known as faith, hope, and charity. In calling your attention to these three principles, always active in the life of mankind, I want to assure you that there are not only qualities within yourselves, but there are beings of great light and advancements who are also known as faith, hope, and charity. The individuals and students who make the conscious effort to cultivate these qualities and consciously expand them in their worlds will find themselves receiving great assistance from these conscious, mighty beings from whose names come these qualities into individualization. These are cosmic, self-conscious, intelligent beings whose special action with mankind is to encourage and expand these qualities. Therefore, let all the students understand that this is far more than a scriptural phrase or expression. At this time, these great ones have come from out of the cosmic silence because of the need of faith, hope, and charity in the minds and hearts of mankind. The sinister force that would have destroyed the confidence, the hope, and the charity in the minds of the American people are doomed to fail utterly. Even now, hundreds who voted for a wet administration are finding their own uncontrolled thought recoiled upon them and are regretting the unwisdom of the action. So out of seeming wrong activity will still come great good, since the hypnotic force that was generated has spent itself. Many of mankind are wondering what caused them to do certain things, and their very rebellion will generate the force which will be used to correct conditions after all. God, which is progress, knows no defeat in anything. Let students always remember this, which will enable them to maintain the so much needed peace and poise of mind. The majestic being charity has a natural consuming force for dissolving and annihilating hate, criticism, and condemnation, and uses the cosmic rays as a balancing force in the ethers from which human beings are drawing their very breath and sustenance. So in spite of themselves, they are breathing in the fire of these rays. This reminds me of an illustration. You know when a person is fainting, many times you hold the smelling salts or ammonia under that one's nose, this is what is actually taking place under the nose of humanity. It is now breathing in this consuming presence. Ask your students not to discuss this fact with unbelievers, but it is vital that the students understand this. Here I want to stress something earnestly. To the earnest, sincere student there are innumerable means of assistance available to them, much of which is and will remain entirely unknown to them, but from which they nevertheless draws when his desire for the light is sincere to throw everything to the winds and stand joyous and determinedly in that one mighty presence which i am enables each one to have a continuous stream of victories marked down to his or her benefit no effort ever made in the name and presence which i am can ever fail but must go forward from one victory to another until one attains and is able to use this scepter of his full dominion I wish to encourage and strengthen the very important advancing consciousness concerning the law of forgiveness. The correct way to call into action the law of forgiveness is to say, I am the law of forgiveness and the consuming flame of all inharmonious action and human consciousness. This sets into motion the completed action. When you use the statement, I call on the law of forgiveness, you are not always completing the action because you need to be conscious of who and where that intelligence is which enables it to be done. As I look among the students, I find that it is important to keep touching frequently upon the use of the I Am Presence, for it is doing remarkable things for them already. My very being lifts up when I see among the students those whose attention is held with determination upon the I Am Presence, how the student becomes a powerful magnet for the light and how it rushes to envelop each one as a loving mother unfolds her child. Could people see and realize this for one moment, their determination would surge into a conquering flame from which there could be no receding. The time is apropos today, and I send forth to each of you and the students a conscious ball of light, enveloping the heart and brain of each one, that they may receive more continuously the conscious blessing of the mighty I Am Presence, I believe that most of them will feel this. Whether they do or not, nothing can interfere with its action to bless them. To those blessed ones who find disturbance in the home at times, I would suggest that they use this statement and feel it deeply. I am the conquering presence, commanding peace, 
love and harmony in my home and environment. Anyone who will use this with determination can have a peaceful, loving, harmonious atmosphere in the home. Some may need to build a momentum to experience its continuous action. Many times it will have immediate results. To build this into the consciousness is recognizing the I Am Presence as the ruling power in their homes, for it is naturally the ruling presence. If students and individuals who have difficulty in maintaining self-control will sit quietly for five minutes feeling deeply and thinking to themselves, I am loving charity, they will find a sense of great relief. For fainting, you know, speaking of fainting, the individual never faints, only the personality does that. Therefore, if one who is in the habit of fainting will take this determined stand, I am the commanding presence forbidding this nonsense, and I forever maintain control of my mind and body. He or she will forever control it. When one first feels the least disturbance, quickly take the consciousness. I am the commanding presence, and I maintain my consciousness here. One must realize that in the command of the I am presence, he has absolute control of the body. The more anyone uses this, the more quickly does manifestation take place. Question, if the great central sun is the heart center of the infinite, where is that which is the brain center? Answer, in the pure state, whether in the infinite or the finite, when there is no imperfection, the brain and heart activity become one, for the motive power of all activity sent forth is love from the heart. Therefore, in the pure state, the heart and brain are synonymous, for within divine love is contained love, wisdom, and power. The infinite energy is always present, awaiting use, but does not act in the life of an individual except under conscious command. There does come a time in the progress of the individual when things act so instantaneously that it seems to be automatic, but it really never is. There is absolutely but one road to self-conscious mastery, and that is the conscious direction of the eternal energy into whatever you desire. Now this brings us to another quite vital point. Desire is an indirect action of the attention, but desire sustained by the determined use of the attention causes the desire to become an invincible manifestation. This will give you a slight idea of how important it is that conscious direction be coupled with the desire, conscious use of the I am presence or the consciously directed use of this eternal energy to a given accomplishment should at no time be anything but a most joyous effort. It should never seem like work or tension in any way, because when you declare, I am, the presence, the intelligence, directing this energy to a given purpose, you set the law in motion in a perfectly easy, calm manner, and it does not require any tearing the hair effort. Therefore, it should always be a calm, serene, determined procedure. The student should at all times understand that the student never chooses the master, but the master chooses the student. Did the student understand what consciousness he was to maintain? It would come about very much sooner. For contacting the ascended masters, use I am the presence preparing the way and bringing visible contact with the beloved ascended masters. With the use of the I am presence, you have full command and limitless control over all disturbing conditions. When you speak in the I am presence, you are speaking in the presence which the ascended being is. You must realize deeply that when you say I am, it is the full God power acting and knows no failure of any kind. Benediction, we give praise and thanks for thy infinite outpouring. Great I am presence, we give praise and thanks that at last we know who thou art, and that within thee are all possibilities. We give praise and thanks that the mighty I am presence is always the governing intelligence, the love enfolding, the light illumining everything on the way. So this completes day 14 of 33, Discourses of the I Am Presence. Thank you for your courage and determination for coming along on this journey with us and making it to day 14. Tomorrow it will commence with day 15 of 33 days of this great journey together. So remember every day throughout the day practice these affirmations, practice living in the I Am Presence and keeping the focus, the intent, 
the awareness on that which you desire and know that you are th in perfect alignment, that the I am presence is perfection, God in action, within your mind, your heart, your soul, as we bring the Trinity into one, the one still center, the white still magnetic light at the center of all things, fully activating our great central sun at the center of your being, the center of your awareness through the I am presence, and living from that center, from your heart, being connected to all beings in all realms, all timelines and dimensions, here now, where I am in this sacred temple, God's holy temple, where the I am presence rests in full, pure, clear awareness, with no hindrance and nothing stopping the great flow of unity consciousness. And together, we consciously co-create the eternal heavenly earth, heaven on earth, the new earth, through our awareness, using our heart, our mind, and our presence of the I am. I am that I am. I am here, and I am there, and I am everywhere. There is no separation. And we live in the state of consciousness, radiating our divine pure awareness into this great field of infinite potential. So thank you for joining us on this journey together, and together we are better. And always remember, day by day, in every way, I am getting better and better through our infinitely expanding eternal consciousness. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.